Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. What we're going to be talking about next is what's the real difference between my old existing inverter charger and the new ones that are offered? And why should I change or why should I care? Well, there's actually been a lot of innovation that have happened over the last few years on inverters. And the main one is, especially if you have a modified sine wave inverter on your boat, which is something that might look like this. This was a very popular unit. Most boats ended up having something like that from Freedom Marine. And what is that unit? I mean, it's a good inverter charger, and at the time of its day, it was really the best. But at the end, what is it? It's a modified sine wave inverter. And what's the main difference between a modified sine wave inverter and a sine wave inverter? Is that a modified sine wave inverter is really okay at running inductive loads and is good at running resistive loads. A modern sine wave inverter does both really well. So what are inductive loads and why should I care? Inductive loads are, for example, your Nespresso machine, a microwave, a TV, a sound system. It could be anything that is modern that is non-resistive. A resistive load is a toaster, a heating, heating element. So when you think about the types of appliances that you want to run off your inverter, most of us as boaters are actually wanting to run what are called inductive loads. And so that's a big difference is that your in true sine wave inverter is going to run those loads a lot more efficiently. The other big difference between a modified sine wave inverter and a true sine wave inverter like this is that the inefficiency between for converting AC or DC to AC is substantially less efficient on this unit than this unit. It's almost, this is almost 35% inefficient versus this one is between five and 10% inefficient. So you've got a lot of gains in terms of modifying your inverter charger from a modified sine wave inverter to a true sine wave inverter. And the last thing that you've got to ask yourself as a boater is, how long have I owned that inverter charger or has that inverter charger been on my boat? And think about what critical role it plays on your boat. Because not only is it likely just an inverter, it's also a charger. And if you lose that piece of electronic equipment, you're not only losing the convenience of running AC loads on your boat, but you're also losing the ability of recharging your batteries. And what I always remind boaters is, these devices generally never fail at the dock when you're not using your boat. They're gonna be failing when you're out boating. We change a lot more inverter chargers in the summer months when boaters are actually using their boats than in the winter. So if you're considering about changing an inverter charger, definitely go with a true sine wave modern inverter charger like this one right here or this one right here where you're gonna actually have high efficiency and low power draw. If you've got further questions on if what inverter charger is right for you, contact us at Pacific Yacht Systems. And thanks for watching.